Hey everyone, it's Nicole and Jamie. We're here to do a quick whip and chat, which means work in progress and chat. Yep, so Nicole's not really working, but I am. I have some <laughs> trays to clean, so you guys can see a little bit about how much work we put into every single tray. Yeah, uh, work and in time. In the meantime, we'll chat with you. Yeah, and this one is I Am from Diamond Art Club, and it's uh, 51 by 71 centimeters. I'm doing this for four different events. Drilla Beast. Oh man, now I'm going to forget what the other names are. It's Drilla Beast. Um, wow, why can I not remember? We don't I have don't know. Trays. Something uh, with butterflies? No, that's ours in uh, April. Dragon so, something? Scales and Sparkles. Yep, Dragon go. something. Drilla Beast. Palantine 2021, because this reminds me of my best friend Erin from back home. She loves dragons. And then Diamond Painting Glove 2021. So, working on four different events. And then I'm still working on my Randall Spangler uh, for, that was for books and diamonds. Books with diamonds. I'm, I don't I'm know. I don't pay attention to this stuff. <laughs> Why don't you remember? I have too much to remember as it is. <laughs> you do. So, anyways, I still have that to do. And so, I'm doing that as part of Let's Finish It February. But I don't even know. What is it? Maybe halfway over there? It's over there. Down yeah, there. that's not halfway. Not even halfway. <laughs> yeah, so probably won't finish it in February. But, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. So, yeah, pretty much all day long. We're cleaning trays. Um, You're just going to do all the talking, aren't you? Well, fine. I mean, that Would is your you job. Like to talk? <laughs> yeah, so you, you can talk about diamond painting, and I'll talk about oh, these trays. Fine. So, as you guys can see, these are these are our newest colors as of 6 was it February 3rd yep. at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Released them. It's been 50 minutes into it. We still have a few left, but by the time you read this, who they knows? They might be all sold out. Yeah. By the time you read this. I hope you're not reading this. That'd be kind of weird. <laughs> by the time you watch this. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So uh, for the trays, this one's been cleaned out already a little bit because we were oh, yeah. taking pictures with it. But uh, let's find one that doesn't have Maybe stuff. this set. Yeah, I'll this, clean that this up set. too. Oh, man. Uh, no, this set's not clean. Okay. okay so go. as you can see... There's filament here. There's there's some loose filament, like loose plastic under here too that we have to cut away. Uh, and then sometimes sometimes the trays even have little little pieces that we have to Why don't you trim grab up. One of the Caribbean blues that's in the living room because that has a uh, some of them have a bit done and that you can actually see like the little extra. So like some of the printers print. Um, differently and we have a couple tray printers so some of the tray printers there will be extra like more extra filament is that a word yes more extra? some extra of them more. don't aren't <laughs> as sophisticated so they don't have as good a cooling so the the parts right here if this is this is what they call a bridge under underneath here so Anytime there's not a support underneath the 3D printed part, then usually that filament will just droop down because there's nothing for it to print flat on top of. And so the reason we don't do support yeah, is is because we did originally do supports built into here that we'd have to remove, and that worked great for the bridge part down here. But then there was little spots, like noticeable blemishes down here, Damn and it, it impeded the diamonds from actually, the drills from actually being able to go out the funnel. They'd get caught a lot, so drills, we couldn't do you. that. You, you know, know things. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'll go get the Caribbean blue one. Okay. You, you talk for a minute. Okay. Jeez. Jeez. Don't hog all the talking. Um, yep, so I'm just working on mine. I've been doing trays. Most of today, like I do every day, and orders and stuff. If you haven't seen our latest, la latest, latest newsletter, we actually hired uh, military spouses to help with things. So we have one who's part time cleaning trays. Uh, she's a military spouse friend of mine, and then we have another one who's another military spouse friend who helps us with the day to day operations and. Um, 
doing, uh, putting together orders and taking pictures, putting them in the boxes, etc. And then I print the labels. So we kind of work hand in hand, but it helps alleviate some of the extra work that I was having to do because there was just not enough hours in the day and not enough hours in the day for Jamie and being able to focus on fixing printers and creating new things like the recent pen holders that we just did. If you missed it, Abigail did an unveiling on her uh, YouTube. Can you see it? I don't know where the camera is. Yes, you can see okay. it. Okay, and it says There's Bella are right there. Well, yeah, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't have the access that you do right there. So okay. Bella are identical. So it can be customized. And so this is a pen holder. Um, and so that's the latest thing. So by hiring people to work, which we're thankful that we have enough business to be able to do that and give other military spouses. We live in a small town, so jobs for military spouses are usually really hard to come by. And so um, it's nice that we can give two of our military spouse friends a job. And, yeah, and um, one of them just wants an excuse to get out of the house anyways, <laughs> get away from the kids. Get away from the kids. Time away from the kids, making money. That's win-win, I guess. We don't have kids yet, but I would assume so. She's got a baby. Uh, the baby is... Oh, is she like seven months? Oh, I forget. Um, but so I was actually in the hospital um, after my second foot surgery last year. I um, got two staph infections. Could have been at physical therapy. Could have been at the doctor's office. Could have been anywhere. And um, so I was actually in the hospital for five days. And Jamie could only visit for like two hours a day. And so he was was it the first day that I was there or maybe the second day he was leaving and then my friend was coming into the hospital to have her baby so we were yeah. just like a couple of floors and hospital wings apart but I don't she... think that our hospital has more than one floor doesn't it's, it it's just a couple couple oh. rooms or wings I guess I don't know okay maybe so I thought that it had a second story for some reason but yeah. again small town one little hospital but we absolutely love it here it's a lot better than Vegas uh, the culture the feeling people you know saying hi to you in the grocery store not just staring at a phone and you know you know your neighbors and stuff uh, we've got military neighbors um, here yeah I don't know them though they're kind of weird hey <laughs> Did they see this? No. <laughs> We're I so guess famous. Know. I guess, well, <laughs> hey, I've been on the radio in our small town you have, a couple of times. For a stuff. Yeah, so I, I was on the radio two or three times for the softball league. Um, it's a nonprofit softball league. If you haven't seen any of our other videos, I volunteer as the executive director for the local softball league that's a nonprofit, and then we also volunteer as coaches for a high school division with the softball league. And so being the executive director, I um, was able to get on the radio to talk about our upcoming league, which was supposed to be last spring that never happened, and then the fall never happened, and now we're looking at maybe this spring not happening. I'm kind of jealous you got to be on the radio and I didn't. I know, right? And everyone's always told me that I have a face for radio. A <laughs> face for radio. <laughs> and what you see is what you get. We don't edit anything and... Sorry? I'm not sorry. You're not sorry? No. I'm never sorry. You're never sorry. Well, there's, there's no way to live life. Be sorry all the time. <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're sorry sometimes. I'm pretty sure I got chocolates last week because you were sorry. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Let's not talk about that, huh? <laughs> how's, how's the tray cleaning going? Are you I'm showing almost them done with cleaning? one small tray. Yeah? Did yeah. you clean? Did you do that outside part yet? Uh, yeah, I got the outside part. Pistol pieces. And then the inside? Yeah. I wish, I wish 3D printers could print things perfectly, but uh, they're not magical... Star Trek replicator machines, they're just squirting plastic out of a nozzle. Right. Going, going, well, why do I, I keep on blocking the camera with my hand. Okay. So it's just like a nozzle and it just goes back and forth on a print bed and then it moves up and then it goes back and forth and it moves up another layer and then it goes back and forth and so on and, and so, uh, so on and so forth. Yeah. Yeah. 
So how long have you been cleaning that tray? I don't know. But as you can see, it's not just coming off the printer and we're ready to ship it out. We actually get them off the printer and then we sit here cleaning. Yep, this is so, most of our time spent is cleaning your trays. Yep, cleaning trays because we don't want all the extra filament in there. We want you to be able to get your tray and be able to use it. And then we also just check to make sure that there's no imperfections um, that cause the tray not to be usable. I'm not seeing one on here, but I was trying to see if I could give an example. Most of the like ones this. that are imperfect, Nicole gets to play with. Yeah, I know. So like this, it has a scratch here and extra filament that won't really come off. So then that would not be effective for diamond painting. And then this like has a big line through it. And so it's not very effective. So yeah, I have a collection because if something is not perfect, well, they're not perfect. They're, they're never going to be perfect. Yeah. They're Everyone... Not Everyone is unique. They're like little humans. Yeah. Everyone, everyone is, unique. Everyone is just like, a little bit unique. This is like super warped, but the bottoms can be warped. The insides can maybe be scratched a little. Sometimes you'll get uh, trays and there may be like a scratch here. And that's because we've been cleaning trays and accidentally scratched here. Um, as long as it's not going to impede the functionality. Because with 3D printing, if you have never ordered anything 3D printed, there are imperfections. But... We just like to do it to where... I, I have seen them. 3D printers that can print perfectly. Have you know? Yes, they're, they're made for uh, commercial people. They're like, I don't know, half the size of this room. Oh, and wow. they cost about $300,000. <laughs> yeah, we're not there yet. <laughs> By any means. But yeah, so pretty much most of our day is just spent cleaning trays and then we still have to take pictures and then get them packaged up and we have to make sure that they are going to get to you in one piece uh it does happen with shipping that things don't make it to you in one piece uh but we absolutely do our best to package everything up so yeah, we're not we're not perfect inspection machines right. something may get by us every now and then but yeah. we we take every precaution we think of yeah. to make sure that they're the way we want them to be and that everyone's happy yeah. and if something does slip by us heaven forbid uh Just and that. and you have a problem with it because a lot of people are like oh it's fine at least i got a trade because <laughs> you know they got a stock every five seconds so uh but for the few that do like perfection we're usually pretty good about making sure you guys are happy. Yep. Yep. But we are only human, as and, are you. Yep. And we can't print infinity trays. I wish we could. Yep, that would be nice. But and they take, what, one printer takes one, like five and a half hours, another one, one takes like yep. six, another one six and a half hours because they print differently. And so... Um, yep, the slower you print, the better it comes out. But we, we don't have... If we took 24 hours to print a tray set, <laughs> yeah, no. we'd need like 5,000 printers to keep up. <laughs> yeah. I'm exaggerating, not 5,000, but uh, we're already pushing what we can fit in our house. Like our lights constantly are flickering in and out yeah, you may see as, that. as the heat beds on the printers heat and up and cool off. Pop and, the breakers a few times. Yeah, I go outside all the time to reset the breakers. Accidentally plug in the like vacuum. We can't run the microwave and the, and <laughs> and the, the heater, heater at the same and time. the printers. And the printers, if you haven't seen our other videos, they're pretty much going 24-7. I have insomnia, so um, I'm usually up late and Jamie usually has early uh, days to work. And so I'll be up late and I'll, so before he goes to bed, he'll start printers or restart printers um, and then like whichever ones are done and then I'll check on them periodically and then before I go to bed, I just make sure that any of the printers that can be started are and then he'll wake up like a few hours later and most of the printers might be done or not done, but yeah. whatever's done, he'll then restart and then I get up. A few hours later and then I'm up all day so the printers are pretty much running 24 7 we did actually order better printers because Jamie is really tired of fixing printers and, and by better printers they're still hobby level printers that we yeah. got well <laughs> yes. except except for two of them we're, yeah. we're experimenting but yeah. most like 95% of our printers 
I don't think we have enough to to say 95 yet. 90% of our printers uh, are hobby grade printers. They're made for people to print stuff occasionally and not expect too much out of their printers. So they break all the time because they're not made for running as often as they are and I have to fix them all the time. So if you think you can buy a $200 or $300 printer and make a business out of it, just know that you're going to be spending a lot of time fixing printers and learning about printers and yeah. Jamie when did this whip and chat become all about printers? I don't know, because you're here talking about them. And we were showing them what they could do. So you got two smalls done. Yep. Did How you, many did yeah. you start with none of these done over uh, here? I don't even remember. It was some sort of check section I don't know. here. You guys can rewind and then fast forward back to where <laughs> so you rewound God. from and see how far she's gotten. Yeah, pretty soon. And I told Jamie that we need to do where I'm going to build a Lego and he's going to do dumb pinning. And he said that he's just going to do it way faster than me and I'll be on like page three and he'll be done. I don't think he realizes. I'm using my forever pen from Ivy and then the other one is my Donna Bass pen, Butterfly. Got, uh, I have a few more butterfly pens coming on the way and some cover minders and stuff um, from a few different places. Uh, Lazy River Wood Turning and Elizabeth Inslee Enablers Outpost. So I have those coming um, because we have our event. Uh, April 28th is my birthday and so we're starting the event that day, Butterflies with Diamonds. Um, if you don't follow us on social media, make sure that you do. I'll just do a shameless plug here. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and then hopefully if you're viewing this on YouTube, you subscribe, uh, like, and comment, because I guess that matters. I'm not sure. We really just did the YouTube to be able to show you, you know, who we are, and then uh, kind of behind the scenes on some things, and then also show you, like, how the trays work. Oh, yeah, should we show them that? So just in case you get our trays, and you're not quite sure, because I think this is just on a small video, so can they see it? I don't know what's they looking They sure at. can. Okay, so this is the little grooves on either side. And yep. so what you want to do is you want to take the lid, and the lid, it should line up. Like, the, the wall should all line up and close. If you're doing it this way, then it's incorrect, and it will not close. So you want to turn it like this. Can I still see? Because I yep. can't see the camera. Yep. And Give then you just... grooves. <laughs> it's groovy. <laughs> so then you just put in the groove, and then it closes. So if you're... If you just put it like on top here, then obviously it's going to fall right off, which they're not all perfect. Some of the lids do fall off even when they're in the groove, but they yeah. should fall off less they, likely to fall they off. They slide in and yeah. stay in place with, and... with the assistance of gravity. Yeah. Uh, so they're not they're impervious like, they're, to dropping. They don't lock into the place open. because yeah. uh, that would just add a whole nother degree of complexity to the 3d print and they'd take longer and they'd probably take us longer to print and or clean up and you would get less opportunities to buy trays right so so at least it's sliding lids so they stay on to some degree and then uh yeah jamie designed these so if you haven't watched any of our other videos um he got really tired of me spilling drills and so he uh, and I needed something with high walls because I was always shaking them, which they have very high walls. So you can shake the heck out of this. And oh, of course I had to have one go by. <laughs> I really shook so, the heck out of that. So, so she kept typically. on doing this with these trays. Yeah. Well, with so the we're like, tiny green ones. we're like, oh, what's a better way? How about we add a lid that stays on and then you can do this. <laughs> and they, they stay in there. Yeah. 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 So, or like if you want to pour them all out, you can right. just pour them to the bottom and then... No, keep the lid on. Oh, you keep okay. the lid, keep the lid so on. that it's there. Yep. And then you just basically open it to where there's a little opening. And then they just pour right out. Easy oh. enough. And if there's any... Oh, there's one drill stuck in there. Static sometimes happens, so that happens. But yeah, that's how you get the drills back in. Way we make, easier. We should make trays with uh, anti-static properties. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. They'll you just, can do that. I'll 3D print a dryer sheet into uh, them. Oh. Yeah. Oh man. Bright yeah, ideas on our whip and chat. That won't work. <laughs> 
But we do print magnets into our cover munders. We do. So there's actually a magnet in here, and then it just sticks to the other magnet that's on the other side. So you can print things into the 3D. Yeah. Wait, you can print things into the 3D products? What the would you object. Call it? The yes. object? Okay, yeah, 3D object. So. Yeah, there are people that do that, like little little tools and stuff. They'll add metal. Are you done with that yet? I Did you get so. the things on this side? Did you get it's make the, sure that it's a large one on that side? Oh yeah, the larges are a little easier. Yeah. So if you want to rewind and fast forward and see how long one set took Jamie, we probably should have like watched the timer to yeah, see yeah, how long yeah, it took. But done. one set is 20 done. Twenty minutes later. <laughs> so. Just wanted to give you a sneak peek on how what it takes to clean the trays and how long it takes to clean the trays. Um, and we've had people that have reached out and asked us, hey, it'd be really cool if you could do a video of your, you know, trays printing. And while that would be really cool to see, we already have people that copy our designs, which we don't have a patent. There's nothing we could do about it. That's totally fine. What is it? Well, innovation? We're not going to make it easy for them. Yeah, so we're not going to make it easy. And so we're not going to show you how it prints so that it would be even easier for them to copy our trace. Because yes. Jamie designed these and has made different modifications to it based on what was needed. And But you know what? It's a free world. It is. Uh, just like there's freedom of speech, well, in, in our country at least, we also have freedom of expression. So... Some people express themselves through what they say, through art. Uh, this is kind of a form of art too, just 3D designing things. Yeah. So bring it. It's not easy. <laughs> no, we definitely would not have this business if we did not have each other. Like I'm good at the marketing and social media, although I'm still learning, especially like YouTube. Um, and how like some of the things on Instagram work, but anyway, so and our website, I'm, there's a lot of features to our new website. Yep. Um, I mostly made it, but it still needed a lot of work. Yeah. I've so. never made one before. Yeah. I'm good with physical technology, not, not, uh, internet technology. Yeah. Nicole's the, uh, internet, social media superpower person she's, <laughs> she's pretty amazing at that oh thanks she's, she's one of the uh most prominent facebook presences is that a word i don't, Pre know. I don't know in uh our community for the for the military spouse side yeah she's every time they well they don't do it anymore but our uh, base support uh support squadron so like the family support squadron that puts on events for the families and for the members of the base all the time. They do giveaways every now and then to promote themselves. And at first, they had the clever idea to promote their their Facebook by saying, hey, whoever gets the most shares of our website mm -hmm. uh, wins. Mm -hmm. So I think after two times in a row that... We won because After of like Nicole. Five hundred likes or something, yeah, and she chairs. just like blew everyone else out of the water. Uh, they started using other she, tactics for contests, changing the rules. Yeah, just because they didn't want us to win. But she's part of the reason the softball league was so successful last, last well, not well, last year, been... twenty nineteen. Yeah, and going into twenty twenty until all the shutdowns from COVID happened. Yeah. It was in shambles before then. Well, I wouldn't say no, in shambles, it wasn't but in shambles. it was not. Well, we it didn't was not have any sponsors tight. before. Yeah. We didn't like the social media was there, but not as many posts and everything. So I made more posts. We actually got sponsors. Um, I don't even know how many sponsors. And then what is a shambles? We were gonna do events. I I have no clue. Who knows what a shamble is? But where is that know. even going? Anyway, so I'm good at that stuff. <laughs> yeah, we ramble. So I'm good at that stuff, and he's good at the printers. Like, I try not to break the printers, and I've learned a you're, lot. You're getting better. I am getting you better. You can, like, load and unload the filament on right. the printers all by yourself now. Sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. without breaking them. Right. So I have learned, and I will continue to learn, but... I would not, we would not have this business if we weren't like in this together because we both balance each other out as we do in life because I'm the extrovert 
And I am supposed to be the introvert. <laughs> you won't be able to tell from this. You're very talkative tonight. So. Yeah, well. It's something that interests you? I didn't used to be talkative. I guarantee it. But I've been in the Air Force for 17 years now. I've been forced out of my shell. Yeah. I have oh. to talk all the time in front of people. So. Even when we first met, though, you were not this talkative, I feel well, like. Well, talking to girls is different than talking to people. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Talking to girls is scary. <laughs> yeah. So, no, I think that I brought you out of your shell and you helped me and with my depression and anxiety and getting me over those. So, again, we balanced each other out and we wouldn't have this business if it wasn't for both of us working it. And we are very thankful to all of you that follow us and purchase and still want us to have a business so thank you guys yeah we appreciate every single one of you and then now we're thankful for our friends that are helping us run this business so that we don't have to like be doing something every waking moment but we are doing something every, every waking, waking moment, moment. So i know we're we still, still are from wake up to lay down in bed, <laughs> we're, working. Uh, we're working. I yeah. am working. I still have to work full eight-hour days at work. Yeah. Well, sometimes more, sometimes more, especially recently. Man, work's been brutal. It's been a crapshoot. Yeah. Because just nobody seems like everyone has a fire to put out, and I. I'm sure there's other people that can put out fires too, but they all come to me, <laughs> especially with the tech stuff because I'm tech savvy. Mm -hmm. So we have a comm, like communication IT equipment squadron on the base. Their responsibility is to fix computers and, and do everything that has to do anything with computers or the network. And that is not me. I am a sensor operator. I'm an instructor. That's my primary job, and uh, Yet. <laughs> I, I do not have any training with IT or computers or anything like that. I don't hold any formal position for working on computers, but everyone comes to me. My computer doesn't work. What do I do? <laughs> I can't get this. And then I tell them, usually I'll like tell them over the phone, hey, this is how you do it. And they say, no, I did that. It doesn't work. And then I'll have to like go downstairs and I literally just do exactly what I explained to them and it works every time. Oh, goodness. Uh, that happens with you too, right? Yeah. Like your computers just don't work and then I come over. Yeah. Sometimes I don't even have to touch the no, computer. No, and it starts, it just working. starts working. Like uh, I don't even know. It's scared. Uh, it's scared of Jamie. The computers <laughs> respect me. They do. <laughs> if, I, okay, not if. When the computers take over the world, <laughs> when when Skynet takes over, yep. or whatever it calls itself, yeah, or we end up being like a the Matrix situation, mm -hmm. I'll still be like You'll befriended be alive by because, them. Yeah, like they'll keep I'll, you alive. I'll I'll have a good position. Okay, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so if you guys need to know anybody in a high place after the. Computer apocalypse. I'm Come your guy. Jamie. <laughs> we might be in Alamoberta, New Mexico still, but maybe not. Yeah, well we got we got our go house just in case. Yeah, that is yeah. true. We got a we got a little trailer in March that we haven't been able to use because of COVID, so Yeah. Okay, is there anything else that you wanna you show them? stop talking now? Well if I talk too gonna... much then she gets really jealous because she likes to talk a lot. <laughs> She's usually the talker. Well, this is supposed to be a quick whip and chat. How long has it, it been? It is quick. It's only been 29 minutes. Oh, it's only been 29 minutes? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was a lot longer than that. I yeah, because she's not later. talking. <laughs> you know what? I do like to talk. I do. You know that. We'd always... So, like, when we first met, I was, I'm was i heavily involved, still even in the sorority. I volunteer, even though the sorority is not here. I volunteer as an advisor uh, remotely. Um, and, um, so I would always be doing, when we lived in Vegas, I was heavily involved. I did like the alumni chapter. Oh, you're sighing because this isn't what you want to talk about? No, I'm not sighing. I was <laughs> oh. taking a deep breath because oh, I forgot breath. to breathe. Oh, okay. It happens sometimes. <laughs> Please keep breathing. <laughs> anyway.
anyways, so I was heavily involved with the collegiate chapter there I advised, and then the alumni chapter and the Panhellenic alumni chapter, which is a whole bunch of sororities as alumni. And so uh, I was always doing something with the sorority, and we'd have dinners and stuff, and Jamie would come, and he'd just be surrounded by a bunch of girls, and he wouldn't, like, say two words half the time. Um, but he opened up more and more, so he... Is better around girls. Girls aren't that scary, are they? No. No. They're not. Not as scary as They're just unpredictable. Yes. <laughs> I guess they're unpredictable. Quit having emotions, jeez. Right, right. Oh, goodness. But yeah, so. Yeah. Cleaning trays and doing diamond painting. I'm glad that I'm actually able to. Sit and work on my diamond painting for a little bit. Yeah. You, you got, what, like 30 minutes of diamond painting yesterday? Yeah, I think so. You got to, you got to talk with some friends. I did. did. Some diamond painting I did. While I was sleeping. Yeah, I know, because you've been going, going to sleep. bed at like 6.30. Yeah, so. Thank waking you. up at 2.30. Yeah, so. That's been fun times. Yeah. You about talked out now? Neither one of us are saying too much. Should we probably end our wisdom chat? So I there's so. a whole bunch of extra filament. Yeah. Can you, can hey, you even see that? See yeah. yeah. There's yeah. a whole bunch of extra filament. So, and came off from, the... From a set and a half. You didn't even have that. Yeah, you didn't even have that much. Was it just the two smalls that you needed? So as you can see, it takes quite a while to clean the trays, but we feel it's important to make sure that you can use the trays when you get them and that they're comfortable. And our fingers are all callous. Yeah, I and that's why I need to take some breaks sometimes. I, I can't unlock here, my phone there. with my thumb anymore. <laughs> my my fingerprints don't exist on on either of these fingers. Because of what? Because of clean trays? Yes. Really? Yep. Oh wow. Because I only you use the clippers. Yeah, I, I use only clippers. use just a straight razor blade. I don't even know where the clippers yeah. are. I can't use the razor blade. So no, I yeah, use like these yourself. little yeah, I am kind of accident prone. So I use these little clippers and clip the insides and then clip the thing. And then, yeah, there's none around yeah. here. I don't it's know. Okay. I think, oh, there's some over there. Yeah. Yeah, they're strewn about the house because I'll just be working on something, cleaning trays. And then, like, I'll be printing labels or something waiting. And then I'll be yeah. cleaning trays. It's like Pretty, pretty much every there. 3D <laughs> printer comes with a set yeah. that we bought. So luckily we haven't had to buy any. Right. We just... We just get all these cool free tools for the yeah. several hundred dollars we spend on these dang 3D printers. But you fix them, so it's okay. The several yeah. hundred dollars goes a lot further than it probably should. Yeah. Should we show somebody the other work in progress that we have? Oh, the one that you just got? Yeah, yeah. if you want to. I can, Do you I want to just pause it? And then... Pause it. Yep. Here. All right, so we're right, going to pause it and show it, you. Guys, but you're not going to notice because it's going to go right to the next video. <laughs> It's going to be kind of disorienting. Ready? Go. Boom. And we're back. Okay, so here's a printer. I already took it. I already unboxed it. Sorry, guys. Uh, but uh, printers all come in uh, multiple pieces, and then we got to put them together. So We. We. I. I have to put them together. Uh, there's lots of pieces. Uh, I think there's some instructions somewhere, too. Right. Right here. No, those aren't the instructions. Oh, okay. This is... Those, those, are, those, are, those are the instructions. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks. Yeah. To me. See, really simple. Just like a couple pages. No big deal. And the funny thing with these printers is while you're working on putting it together, you're supposed to eat gummy bears. Yes. And this is a mini printer, so it came with mini gummy bears. Yep. This is like the cutest thing ever. They're perfect. They're little mini. Uh, yeah, it was made it worth buying the printer right there it's just, <laughs> just the little me. tiny thing gummy bears because they they want you to maintain your energy while you're building the printers right yep. and this isn't a u.s printer but we have started buying from a company u.s printers you know buying from the u.s is expensive it is if if you but, guys have ever bought from a u.s store like ours before <laughs> <laughs> But we like it supporting. Cost, the problem is cost when you're trying to source stuff from the U.S. Right. Just add up. Yep. And so you got to pay for quality, unfortunately. Or fortunately. I don't know. You get what you pay for, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. How but, long is it going to take you to put it together? But these, these printers are all made in the Czech Republic, formerly Czechoslovakia, by a famous Czech, well, famous in the 3D printing world, 
Czech guy named Joseph Prusa. Yeah, everything says Prusa research on it. Uh, mm, it's got I like see it's got like pictures of. Uh, let's see here. Here's the guy Joseph oh, Prusa. There he is. He's got a print farm, but he's got about. 200 printers in his print farm <laughs> and we're, we're not at that level yet no. keep yeah. buying maybe we will be yes not not this year <laughs> how long is that gonna take you to put together you think uh maybe like 30 minutes so i don't think you guys want to sit around for another 30 minutes so no, probably not. ready for another disorienting camera change here we go and we're back and we're back <laughs> So hopefully you've enjoyed this whip and chat. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, follow, like. That's like. the other word you're looking for. Is that the yeah. word? Yeah. yeah. On uh, and make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Facebook because that's where we, and by we I mean I post the majority of our stuff. So. Yep. And subscribe to our new newsletter. Oh yeah. Remember that? Yep, we did. We sent out our first newsletter. It seemed like everybody enjoyed it, so um we just sent that out and that's where we shared about having new employees and the next colors that will be available in February. So everybody got a sneak peek, so make sure that you sign up for the newsletter on our website if you want to know what the sneak peeks are for next month and forward. Um but right now we have bubblegum pink and silk red. Yeah. Oh, I put it too far. Oh, man, it's so far away. <laughs> Still so, so those are our current colors, and I'm not sure if we're sold out at this point or not, but hopefully um, they're still available. If you want to get a set uh, by the time this video goes up, are you going to go post this video sometime soon? Yeah, it'll go up. It'll probably take like an hour to upload. But... Yeah. So. All right. Well, we won't take up any more of your time. Hopefully, you've enjoyed our whip and chat. Get to know us a little better. We put yep. little tidbits in here. Whip and chat episode two. All right. Yeah. Good deal. So, hopefully, we'll see you next time. And hope everyone's doing well, staying safe, and have a good night. Night, guys.